Good morning and welcome back to the beautiful eco cabin here at Duffus Estate. If you watched one of my last videos you will know that yesterday I went and photographed Duffus Castle at sunset and although some of the light was good it wasn't it didn't quite turn out as I'd hoped and the best of the light and the conditions were not in a good spot to take photographs so as I said I was going to get up bright and early this morning to come out again go back to the castle and try and shoot it at sunrise this time just to see where the light is in the landscape and if it lights up the castle from a different direction a morning. Although it, the majority of the sky is quite clear just now, there is some nice clouds over on the horizon, some nice subtle colours, but sadly, a bit like last night, it's too difficult or pretty much impossible to get a shot with these colours and the castle. And the reason for that is that the castle is up on an embankment. So once you go up on the embankment, or once you're at the, one of the sides of the embankment, the actual embankment itself and the castle completely obscures your view of the horizon, which means that unless you get one of these epic sunrises or sunsets where the whole sky is on fire, you know, all the best light is on the horizon, which you cannot get in frame if you want to shoot the, the castle itself. So this morning I'm just sort of admiring these lovely subtle colours and one of the other great things this morning is that the fields around here are just full of hooper swans and geese and the sound of them as they're taken off from their roosting sites and some of them coming into the fields to feed is just incredible. You know I always say when it comes to getting outdoors and doing photography that it's not all about the photography itself it's about the experience of being outdoors and the, the things that you see and hear and sense while you're out in nature and I think this morning for me obviously it's still early days and we've still got a lot of time about half an hour until sunrise um, I think one of my favourite memories from this morning already would be the sounds of these hoopers and geese around this area it's just incredible. We are getting some subtle colours now behind the castle, so I'm going to get myself set up in the sort of spot that I was looking at last night and uh, see if we can get a good image. last video that one photograph I've always wanted to get of this castle is the pebbly pathway that leads its way up to the castle itself and it wasn't looking hopeful this morning for a good photograph because there wasn't much cloud in the sky but there is some cloud in the distance and it's starting to light up this lovely pinky colour. It's very subtle, it's very minimal and the best of the colour is over in that direction but there is one cloud as you can just see that comes all the way over to the castle itself and I'm really trying to utilize this cloud as it adds a lot of well a bit of color to the image and something that little bit different so what I've done is I've set up my camera here and I've put a polarizing filter on um, and you can see from this footage here this is what the shot looks like without the polarizer and this is what the shot looks like with the polarizer this is quite a similar sort of feel to the photographs I was taking at Cantic Head last month and I showed you there as well how using a polarizer was allowing me to bring out some more definition in the clouds and create a slightly different image I wasn't sure if I preferred the polarized image in that video but I definitely prefer it in this video because as you will just have seen with taking these photographs here that without the polarizer you can barely see that pink cloud and that pink cloud is what makes this photograph unique and interesting but with the polarizer it really brings out that cloud and gives you that interest so I'm actually really happy with this photograph it's quite an easy composition 
walk, she'll literally walk up to the castle and you just kind of stand on the pathway and take the shots. But just having that subtle cloud and that pink on the horizon, I think, gives it some, some uniqueness to the image. And uh, another tip there, if you are at a location that's iconic or that's well photographed like this, look for the things that aren't always there. And you know, such as clouds, um, you know, interesting weather, interesting light, and really utilise it. Because although you might not get unique and interesting compositions, the unique and interesting part of your photograph is going to be the light. And I think that's exactly what makes this shot work, is that bit of light, that bit of colour. And I really like this image. lovely pinky purple pre-sunrise glow is starting to disperse. You can still see some of it behind me but the majority of it is dispersed and especially the bits around the castle have all disappeared. So it's about another 10 minutes now until official sunrise and there are some hills in the distance and some trees so I'm not going to get that initial orange glow straight away. So I'm predicting in about 20 minutes or so I'm going to have a nice orange glow. So I'm just going to spend the next 20 minutes just immersing myself in nature and enjoying this time of year. For me when it comes to wildlife I think my favourite time of the year is the summer because I love the seabird season. Like nothing for me beats seabird season but there is something so special about autumn and winter when you've got the geese and the hooper swans all around you. So I'm just fully trying to immerse that this morning, you know, being in the countryside surrounded by all this farmland, you know, it's just the perfect place for them. And uh, yeah, they're, they're here this morning in their numbers and it, the sights and sounds are just incredible. So yeah, for the next 20 minutes, I'm just going to relax and wind and, and just enjoy being out. And this is something I'd urge you all to do. You know, when you're out doing photography, enjoy the pre-sunrise glow, get some shots. Then while you're waiting for the sun to officially rise, just step back for 10, 20 minutes and just immerse yourself in nature and listen to everything that's going on around you and just fully enjoy the experience of being out um, because there's something so magical about being out early in the morning at dawn and just listening to nature and a motorbike <laughs> start up all around you. has now risen behind me so I've come back to my original spot down here uh, in the hope of getting that lovely orange glow on the landscape which we're now getting it's just adding something extra to these photographs so I really like the first image I took of this because I had that nice purple color and that nice band of pink on the horizon but it's really nice now to be here and have the the orange glow illuminating the castle and the pathway itself Oh, I just love crisp mornings like this. You might not have the epic clouds that are standard and amazing for landscape photography, but just watching the sun rise above the horizon and a new day beginning with nature surrounding you. There really is nothing more special and beautiful than this. What a morning. <laughs>
Well that's the end of another vlog. I hope you've enjoyed this morning. It's been a nice chilled one but I hope in some ways it's inspired you to get out on nice crisp mornings like this. Even if the forecast is stating a clear sky which isn't the optimum for landscape photography, I hope this morning has showed you that it's actually just so great to get out on a morning like this because it's still, it's calm, there's wildlife spectacles all around you and it really allows you to watch how the light interacts with the landscape and learn about light and watch it as it fully you know immerses itself in the landscape because you know cr clear mornings or evenings around sunset or sunrise you can really see you know as the sun m moves down or up how it creates different shadows highlights and interactions with the landscape and it's just it's such a good way to learn about the importance of light when it comes to landscape photography so yeah i hope this morning's taught you that and um, just showed you this beautiful scene here i'm off back to the eco pod which is just there to have some breakfast thank you all for watching and i look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time